Good morning, Knicks Nation. Today is Friday, December 22nd, 2023. Happy Friday to you. Hope you're safe and healthy, your family safe and healthy, and that the needs of you and your family in terms of food, shelter, clothing, as well as health are being met today. Blessings upon those that work in the healthcare field, who along with the first responders every day are saving lives. Blessings upon those that pick up garbage for us to keep our streets and sidewalks and places clean and disease free. Blessings upon those that make deliveries, especially this time of year, for our convenience. Double blessings on the men and women out here trying to help rescue, deliver, and recover. Teenagers and children who are the unfortunate victims of child molestation and pedophilia. Victims also of pornography and child pornography, prostitution and child prostitution, human trafficking and sex slavery. Double curses on the perpetrators. Double curses on those who profit and double curses on the perverts that create this heinous industry. Finally, double blessings on the homeless, nearly 600,000 men, women, and children homeless in the United States of America and millions around the world in similar or worse conditions. Blessings upon them, for theirs is the kingdom. There's a basketball game scheduled for tomorrow at 1230. The New York Knicks will be taking on the Milwaukee Bucks at MSG. Now, the last five times, the last five times, one, two, three, four, five, last, last five times they played, the Bucks have won. The la- going back into October of last year, including two games this year. So the Bucks obviously have the Knicks number. Obviously, they've had the Knicks number. Now, the Knicks, by all rights, should lose this game. They're coming in without Mitchell Robinson, without Jericho Sims. And, you know, they, they, they gave 146 points to Milwaukee last time. Not only that, Milwaukee is now uh, 21 and 7. They've won six straight. They're 8 and 2 in their last 10. Dame Dollar and Giannis have figured it out, and they, they're doing business. So they won six straight. They're 21 and 7. They're actually a half game away from Boston in the East. By the way, the Knicks are tied for fourth in the East at 16-11 with the Orlando Magic. Tied with the Orlando Magic. You know, there was some some unfortunate fool came on my channel talking about the Knicks suck. We're 16-11 with one of the toughest early season schedules in the league. And you're going to say they suck? See, people like you get your... you you. You're, you're blessed if you just get your comment deleted. That's that's a mild slap. When I delete you from, from getting on there at all, you don't touch the third rail. Don't come on my channel with that. The Knicks are 16 and 11, tied for fourth in the East. And how many people out there claim that they were going to be that high in the East at this point in the season, except for myself, said they were going to be at least six and possibly as high as four. That's where we at. So now we got... Two games at Madison Square Garden against a real rival because this is a real rival right here. They done beat us five straight. They have already won six straight. They they're eight and two in their last ten. They really are rolling. Okay, so how would the Knicks beat them? Well, let me tell you something. I think we all know this is the league. So on any given night or day, as it were, any team could beat any team. Period. End of story. Any team. Could be any other team, okay? But the Bucks are rolling. Giannis is in his prime. Dame Dollar is the perfect complement. Um, right now, their differential is 5.4. I mean, so I thought, I still thought they didn't have enough defense at the point of attack, but Malik Beasley has come through. Malik Beasley has come through and is, and is providing that point of attack defense to help Dame Dollar out. They already have good defense on the backside with... Giannis, of course, multiple-time Defensive Player of the Year. Brooke Lopez, who was up for Defensive Player of the Year last year. And Chris Middleton. They all play tight defense on the back end. But I did not expect them to be able to guard at the point of attack. But Malik Beasley is the surprise here. He really is a surprise. So they really are playing well. Now, this is a challenge for the Knicks. Obviously, with all I just told you, it's a challenge. They're healthy. Everybody's going to play. The only person out is Jay Crowder, and who cares? But they got they got everything they need right now. They they got they got they squad together. So we could they're coming at us with all guns blazing. Okay? Plus it's gonna be the garden. 
and it's going to be holiday, Christmas time and all that. Everybody's going to want to go off. So uh, <clears throat> we got to come to play. And I and I, I'm, the thing is, I know the Knicks will come to play. OK, under Tom Thibodeau, since he's been the coach, you can know one thing. Win, lose or draw. They're going to come to play. OK, and this year, especially they tough, they resilient. They're coming to play now. How they gonna beat these guys? Well, we need Ju to beat Juju. You know he's been in his bag for about two weeks now, okay? <laughs> and he's been doing business, and he's been playing good. And it's holiday season; he's gonna feel good. So we need Juju to be Juju, okay? And he and honestly, he has been not only doing his business on offense; he has been playing, in my opinion, the best defense of his career this year. He, there's no doubt in my mind he's all NBA again. Then you got your other all NBA candidate, the leader of the team, the head of the snake, Jalen Brunson. And we need Jalen to come to play. Okay? It would be nice. I can't, you know, say I expect it. It would be nice for him to drop, you know, five out of eight threes, six out of nine, or something like that. That would be really good. So we expect I'm expecting him to come to play. And I know he will. And I'm expecting Juju to come to play. And I know he will. So we need some ancillary backup. So Hartenstein will probably start at the five. Now, we'll talk about the, well, speaking of the five, I just want to make clear we understand what's going on. Mitch Robb is more than likely, though not officially, out for the season. Now, this is very important that we understand. Just because he misses most or all of the regular season, doesn't mean he's going to miss the playoffs. It doesn't even mean he's going to miss everything. He could come back in April. I'm still holding out that type of hope. But let's assume he misses the whole season. Jericho Sims is out two weeks at the max. Jericho Sims is not out for the season. Okay? I don't know why everybody's like looking at trade and who we could pick up. We didn't lose Jericho Sims for the season just for two weeks. He's going to be back by the new year. So no need to trip. So, Ju so Jericho's going to be back. But in the meantime, we're just going to need what happened against the Knicks. We're going to need Juju, iHeart, and our boy, our boy Taj, old-time Nick Taj. We need them to hold it down, period. End of story. We need them to hold it down. You know, that's all there is. We need to support them to hold it down. Ain't no moves going to be made right now, okay? At the trade deadline, you know, the Don has shown himself expert at making them type of moves that are low-key but big effect. Okay, we know what happened when he went and got Derrick Rose for second rounders, right? Then he went and got Josh Hart, okay? He's good at doing stuff like that. He can, And he went and signed a guy who was, was not on my radar in Isaiah Hartenstein so, and signed him as a free agent. So he's good at that. At this point, I'd like to just let these guys play, let Jericho come back. Let him get his light, and let's see how this thing works out. I don't think we need to make any moves. There's nobody we need to go get right now. I think we good, okay? No, we're going to miss Mr. Robinson, but you're not going to find. And some of these knuckleheads talking about dry Howard. I mean, come on, man. Stop it. Or, or Boogie Cousins. The dude is finished. What is wrong with some of y'all? No, we just need to chill. And, and see what we got when Jericho comes back. In the meantime, Juju got to hold it down. So everybody knows their role. This is the thing about a team that has continuity. Everybody knows their role. So now Taj know what he got to do. Isaiah know what he got to do. And Juju know what he got to do. And everybody going to man up and do their job. Period. Okay? Hartenstein, they've been doing work in the absence of Mitch. I don't. He's physical. And you're going to need physical against Giannis. So we're going to need that. Then, of course, there's RJ. RJ's kind of the wild card here. If RJ comes like Broadway Barrett, we got a good shot here. Because like I said, I expect Juju to bring his bag. I'm pretty sure he will. I know Jalen Brunson going to bring his bag. If RJ comes out like Broadway Barrett, we're going to have a good shot. If he comes out like Ray Charles, there might be a problem. And I mean might. Because one thing about RJ... This season, he's been playing some defense. Now. He may, you know, he may be slipping off a little bit in the offensive game. He may be playing, some, but he's playing some defense. And the thing about him that I noticed against the Nets, 
is I thought at first maybe he had just a tough offensive game, but then I looked closely at it after watching the game. What he did was he was really giving up shots for Dante. That's team ball. So he only took, I think, I think RJ, RJ usually up there around 16, 17 shots. I think against the Nets, he only had about 10 or 11 shots. Let me just look at that. I think he only had like 10 or 11 shots against the Nets. So he wasn't really, he was really deferring to Dante because Dante was hitting. So I'm looking at here. Uh, yep. Yeah, RJ was five of 11. That's not bad. Only took one three pointer and he was plus 13. So he, and he was playing good defense against the Nets. So. Dante got 15 shots. Brunson got 15. Juju got 20. And of course, quickly going to get his. He got 12. And even he took a little less than he normally would. So the Knicks are playing team ball. And, you, you know, RJ is deferring when he needs to. Team ball. But if RJ, and then again, RJ, last game, 4 for 4 from the line. You know, he, he, he's, he's consistently hitting his foul shots now. So if we get RJ being Broadway Barrett tomorrow, I think we'd be in good shape. And then, of course, Dante's been playing very well shooting the ball. Now, I'm going to tell you right now, that might not happen tomorrow and for two reasons. Number one, if he's starting, which he is, he's going to be guarding or one of the people guarding Dame Dollar. That takes a lot of energy. Okay, So you cannot expect him to be, you know, Stephen Curry on one side and then guard Dame Dollar on the other. That may hurt him, but we're looking for Grimey to come off. Grimey going to be in the second unit, 18 minutes against the Nets, 2 of 7. Quickly, 24 minutes against the Nets, 7 of 12. That's second unit. Now, you're going to have Taj in there. You're going to have Taj in there in the second unit. You're going to have Juju playing the 5 in the second unit. So I think you're going to have more Taj. And then you're going to have, of course, Josh Hart, who got 13 rebounds. You know, all you, he only 6'4", he got 13 rebounds last game. He was killing the water boys. And so you get Hart, Quick, Grimes, probably Taj. It's going to be a grind. You know, they beat us five straight. They don't won six straight. They eight and two. But you know what? We the New York Knicks. So let's step up and do what we got to do. I think they're going to be there. Let's see if it, it works. You know, because like I said, they're going to put their heart into it. Let's see if it comes through. All right. Now, I won't be watching the game right away. It's going to be during the Shabbat. And later on, I'm going to take my wife as our anniversary tomorrow, our 39th. So I'm going to take my wife out, you know, tomorrow night. And then I'll come back and watch the game. But y'all enjoy. We will talk later. Enjoy your weekend. Be safe out there, y'all. Shalom.